Good morning. Because we finally made it to our first port. Um, and I finally stopped feeling woozy after we ate dinner. <laughs> it was rocky yesterday. I mean, like I have these little wrist things that I put on. They're supposed to like push right here and help. But I waited a little too late to put them on. Um, I should have put them on earlier in the day. But I was fine. Last night was the first night I actually got a full night's sleep. Um, so I don't know if I was just completely exhausted or finally, finally figured out my sea legs. But anyway, so we're at, we're at our first port. We're in Haiti today. And I wanted to talk about food. Yeah. Because there's been nothing but food all over the place on this ship. And it got me thinking about everyone's relationship with food and your mindset with food. And what you think about when you think about food. Um, because a lot of people emotional eat. A lot of people eat out of boredom, which is me. Um, that's one thing I learned about myself when I started the container life was, you know, I was sticking to it 100%. I learned that I was just going to the pantry. Hey, Becca, good morning. I learned I was just going to the pantry because I was bored, not because I was really hungry. And sometimes, just a little tip, sometimes if your stomach is growling and you're like, there's no way I could be hungry, I just ate, have water your body sometimes gets confused with thirst and hunger and your body will make it seem like you're hungry and you really just need water because you're a little dehydrated. Good morning, Rocky. So yes, even on vacation, I'm activating my superpowers like I could do every morning. Um, but my blender broke, so it makes it chunky. And I can't like it that much. I like taste. I don't like chunks, but I'm going to drink it anyways because I know my stomach will be a hot mess if I don't drink that every day. So let me talk to you about food and your relationship with it. Um, like I said, a lot of people see food as a boredom thing to do. A lot of people see food as something to make themselves feel better. So they will, the emotional eat. The second you're sad, you want to go to the store and get a cake or cupcakes or something sweet. Um, and the people out of boredom sometimes it's chips and munchy foods so you have to know yourself really really well to know exactly what why you do what you do with food and why you eat what you eat at certain times so for me I found I ate out of boredom and it was a lot of like salty foods chips and things like that when I started going through a test group that I was in where I had done following the nutrition 100% and I gave and said I was going to follow it 100%. I had to change my mindset with food. And what we really should be thinking about food is food is fuel. So when I'm drinking this, I'm fueling my body. When whatever's on my plate, I'm eating, it's fueling my body. So like when you buy a car, right? And the car salesman says you should put 89 gas in here or 87 gas in here, whatever it is. You're going to put that gas in there because they've told you that's what you need to put in your car for your car to run the best for you, right? So why don't we do that for our bodies? We're told what to eat so our bodies can run the best for us, but yet we still eat junk. Don't get me wrong. I've eaten a decent amount of junk on this cruise. But sometimes I let myself do that. I let myself do that like you guys know on a regular day. Like... If I want a little cheat here and there, hey Laura, if I want a little cheat here and there, I'll take it. I work really hard. But what I'm saying is, I'm not looking at the food as, I'm sad about something, so let me eat this burger and french fries. Or I'm bored, so let me eat this burger and french fries. It's, you know what, I haven't had a burger and french fries in a really long time. I know my metabolism is really fast. It's going to burn it off even faster, and that will make my metabolism fast. You know what I mean? I still look at it in a fuel type manner. That's how you need to look at food. Food, not fuel. It, you need to look at it as fuel. You need to look at it in the fact of what is on your plate is what is going to fuel your body and help your body. So if you have a lot of junk foods on your plate, that's going to slow your body down. That's going to make you feel sluggish. It's going to make you feel mm, and bloated. So when you look at your food, think about what it's going to do for your body. Not is it going to make me fat or is it going to make me this. Think about all the other things. Think about how it's going to fuel you, how it's going to do your energy. Um, all of that stuff. That is going to be the best mindset that you can have with food. Good morning, Mom. So that's the best mindset that you can have. I need to add water to this. It's thick. It's 
hard in this new blender. It's not, I bought like one of those little travel blenders and it's hard for me to figure out. I'm definitely adding water to that. <laughs> but, so you need to look at food and look at fuel. So I've been making really great choices. We're on day two. I mean, yeah, I've had a little ice cream and things like that, but nothing different that I wouldn't do at home on little cheats here and there. You know what I mean? So I'm making sure I'm still living to my containers. I have my bracelets with me to help keep me on track, to help give me an idea of what I still haven't gotten in yet. It's really hard for me to go without these. This is my lifestyle. So when I try to go without these bracelets, I like I don't know, okay, I know I'm picking healthy foods, but am I overeating on my vegetables? Because I want to fuel my body correctly. So you need to make sure, no matter whether you travel a lot, whether you're home a lot, whatever it may be, you've got to make sure that you're looking at food as fuel. And when you look at your plate, you need to ask yourself, how is that going to fuel my body? Just like when you go to the gas station, which gas is going to be best for my car? And then you put the right gas in, whether it's expensive or not. That's how you need to take care of your body. Because if you don't put that gas in your car, you're not going to get from point A to point B. I can tell you, if you don't put the right fuel food in your body, you're going to eventually not be able to get from point A to point B because you're going to be sick or you're going to have health problems and you're going to be on a lot of medication, which is more expensive than getting healthy foods and definitely more expensive than my superfood. So, Laura, we definitely need to get you in the container life. That's what I was trying to do with your bundle is to get you the containers also because that is what helped me with my portions. Because you can be a healthy food person, always pick the right foods and be like, all I eat is healthy food. <coughs> Good morning, Michael. So it could be all I eat is healthy food, right? But you can overeat on that healthy food as well. So you really have to know what portions you should eat. That's why I love my container life because there's a two second mathematical equation you do by your weight and that makes your portions counted for and your macros counted for. So you don't have to do any of that. And I utilize the keto lifestyle, the keto nutrition with my containers. So these containers help me with the portion of however, whatever nutrition way that I like to eat. It's as simple as that. So fuel your body correctly. You wouldn't put shit gas in your car, so don't put shit food in your body. So my call to action to you today is all day today, all day, I want you to either open up the notes in your phone or have a piece of paper and a pen. You guys know I'm a list person. <laughs> get over it. I love lists. So either or that or get a piece of paper and a pen. And what you're going to do is every time something goes in your mouth, a piece of gum, when you drink a glass of water, everything that you do, write it down. Write it down. And if you want, send it to me. And I can help you see if you're missing any foods or if you're eating too much of something. But if you can have an idea if it's one handful, two handfuls, three handfuls, do it by handfuls, half a handful, so you can have an, I can have an idea of the portion and you can have an idea of your portion. Because that is a great way to see how much of the food you're eating. Even if it's healthy food, you can overeat on that too. So I'm gonna go get my work done. I have a new book that I started. I love Kate Hudson's book. So I got this, we did date night the other night. We did like a triple date night with two of our friend, uh, groups of friends. And um, Alex and I walked around the bookstore where we were ready to do dinner with them. And uh, that's the book I picked up. It was 50% off, so why not, right? So I just wanted to talk to you guys about this, but I have my, my uh, calendar out. I have my laptop here. I'm gonna check in with my group. Um, I have a few messages I need to answer, and also on top of that, I still like to get a little bit of my work done. That's what I love about what I do. Good morning, Amy. That's what I love about what I do is that I can do it from anywhere. So right now, I'm sitting on the balcony while Alex sleeps. He's getting up in about 20 minutes. I got up at 7, did my normal routine, got dressed for my workout, have my super shake, going to do my work. Um, I have some invites, the 80-day group. Today, we're going over nutrition. A week from today, we start the workout, so there is still time to get into that group. So I'm gonna be sending out those messages and checking in with the people that wanna just start with me. Make sure we get them started. Um, I have a few people I wanna to invite to that group, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm hitting the gym, and then who knows what I'm gonna do. It looks like the sun might actually peak out today. We haven't had the best weather yet, but it looks like the sun might come out, so I might sit poolside. But either way, I'm gonna get some work done, so I am done before my sweat fest. Even on vacation, it's the lifestyle that I love. So have a good day, guys. Bye.